Prepper College beats their rivals, Presec Legon, Adizado College, Opoku Ware, St. Thomas Aquinas, in Fransepem, to go top in the recent top 10 senior high schools in Ghana based on the National Science and Maths Quiz. This ranking was done by a, a statistical firm called N Analytics and Consulting Firm, and they used data from the year 2013 to the year 2022. So, which means this data was gotten over the period of 10 years. So in this video, we are going to tell you why they used the year 2013 to the year 2022. All the metrics they used to arrive at this top 10 senior high schools based on the National Science and Maths Quiz. My name is Kingsley and on this channel, we talk about everything National Science and Maths Quiz, YouTube and training videos on social media platforms. Let's get right into the video. A recent ranking that surfaced on the internet was from a firm called N Analytics and Consulting Firm. They've been doing this ranking from the year 2021 to the year 2022. There was a ranking for 2021 and there's a new ranking in 2022 because they had to do a new one based on the 2022 finals that was done. So this ranking featured all schools that participated in the National Science and Maths Quiz be it a category A school, category B school, or a category C school. They used a lot of metrics to arrive at this ranking. But first, I took the opportunity to really visit the site if it was really legit. And yes, they are legit and they do a lot of things in their company. Programming, metrics, analytics, statistics, a lot. So this is their page on the internet. They are called N Analytics and Consulting Limited. So it said, N Analytics and Consulting Limited is a data analytics firm that provides a broad range of analytics solutions to business and organizations to help them make better data-driven decisions. It was incorporated in 2018 in Ghana, West Africa. Our goal is to help our clients operate their businesses more efficiently. We help businesses and institutions organize and structure their data into useful information to assist in decision making. In doing so, they can predict what is coming, improve their productivity, and automate their tasks. So there's a little bit about who they are and what they do. And before they did the ranking, they had a lot of parameters that went into the ranking. So let me show you what they did. So they, they had a five-page document dedicated for this ranking. I will leave the document in the description. You can check it out. It N Analytics Top 100 Senior High School Rankings for Science and Mathematics. That is the NSMQ 2022. They said the N Analytics Top 100 Senior High School Rankings for Science and Mathematics 2022 include 193 schools across the 16 regions of Ghana. The model we have developed for the ranking is based on a school's final position in the National Science and Math Quiz at the national level and the category of the school. So the purpose of this ranking is to develop a ranking system of global standards that rewards consistent performance, whether a school wins the competition or not. So first of all, what it did was that this competition, the ranking was based on the position you got in the NSMQ. If it was semi-finals, what position did you get? If it was a final you got to, what position did you get? We'll get to a place they talked about not using the results that is the points the schools got respectively in their various colleges so they were rather using the position you got not the score and also it's also based on whether you are a category a school or a category b school or a category c school an example of a school in a category c school can be a dukum Pesek in the eastern region against a category a school like st peter's you will see the difference the difference will be in terms of their education the difference will be in terms of the teachers over there and facilities they have on the campus so which means the category a school is more likely to do well than the category c school so those points will be different we'll see that later on in the pdf they went on to give us a breakdown of the 193 schools that they used they said 23 were boys school that accumulated for 12 percent then the girls school were 22 that accumulated for 11 percent and then the total mid schools were 148 that constituted 77 percent which means a lot of mid schools participate in the national science of mass but we wonder why they can't do well. Yes, someone will argue that in the boys' school, there is no distraction. And also in the girls' school, there is no distraction in terms of relationships and other stuffs. But Motown, we should know that Achimota School won it. They come down to about N Analytics Top 10 Senior High School Rankings for 2022. The table is based on the performance of schools at the National Science and Math Quiz over the last 10 years. N Analytics has compiled the most comprehensive database 
of all schools participating in the NSMQ starting from 2013. We started from 2013. We started from 2013 because we were unable to obtain detailed information on the competition prior to 2013. So the reason why they used the 2013 to 2022 was that they didn't get enough data from 2022 coming down. Yes. So to be on the safer side, so that the data will be very accurate, they started from 2013. So that's the reason why. And this is their ranking methodology they use. They say competition points. For a school to get ranked in a particular year, it must reach at least the 1A stage of the competition at the national level. Thus, the 1A stage is the baseline stage required for a school to be included in the ranking for that particular year. So if you don't get to the 1A stage, you are not part. So those who don't know, in the National Science and Math Quiz, at the national level, you have to go through the preliminary stage before we move to the 18. So if you don't qualify from the preliminary stage, you are not considered for this ranking. Are we okay? And they said competition points for a school to get ranked in a particular year. Okay. So we continue. If a school does not reach the 1A stage in a particular year, it gets zero for that year. You don't get anything. So since 2013, some 193 schools have reached the 1A stage. So those are the schools they use for the ranking the point a school gets for a particular year is based on the final stage it reaches in the competition so the particular point you get for a particular year will be the stage will be the position you go to so if you go to uh, the semi-finals they'll give you a point based on your position so if you are in the semi-finals you rank first second or third in that particular contest then they'll give you the point are we okay these are the points final position and points awarded if you win the competition you get 100 points example 2022 precept won so which means in 2022 precept had 100 points are you okay do you get what we are saying first runner up 70 points which means Prempe got 70 points so they didn't use the scores they used in the finals or in the nsmq they are rather allocating points for particular positions so second runner up you get 60 points which means adizadel had 60 points for 2022 and so on and so forth so semi-final second place you get 45 points semi-final third place you get 40 points quarter-final second place you get 25 points quarter-final third place you get 20 points and then one a stage you get 10 points are we okay you get 10 points yes so they come down to category points in addition to the competition points above a non-category a school may get additional points based on the category assigned to it by the Ghana Education Service, a non-category A school must advance beyond the 1A stage before it can earn category points. So if you are not a category A school, for example, category B and category C, you will have a lesser advantage. When you advance from the 1A stage into the quarterfinal or to the finals, you get extra points based on the particular stage you go to. So they can add even five points to your points. So this is an advantage to the category B school and category C. But if you're a school like Presec and you get to quarter final semi final final you don't get any additional points we beg you are a big school you don't need any additional points yes so that schools such as one at Bono senior high school so Gakope senior high schools and those schools will be able to get additional points are you here with me so now let's get into the top 10 senior high schools based on this ranking from the 10th position to the first position the school that came 10th was university practice shs wow let's give it up to them and they've been pulling massive results in recent national science and math quiz competitions they are from the central region the school that came ninth was bleo known as the boys from kadishi Accra academy they came ninth in the ranking let's give it up to them let's give it up to them the school that came eighth was saint thomas Aquinas. O toms let's give it up to them let's give it up to them and the school that came seven in the ranking was Keta SATS, also known as Keta School from the Volta region. Let's give it up to them. Let's give it up to them. The school that came six was St. Peter's Boys Senior High School, also known as Pest School. So if you are a Pest School bar, you should be proud. Let's give it up to them. Let's give it up to them. The school that came fifth is no other school than Boche, the AC Milan of National Science and Mars Quiz, also known as also known as Infant Supreme Boys from the Central Region. Let's give it up for Bukhi. Let's give it up for Bukhi. The school that came fourth was Opokuwari, also known as Uwas, from the Ashanti region. Let's give it up to them. Let's give it up to them. One of their notable super subs was Tinkuni, who made 
a name for himself in the NSMQ 2022. So now we've got into the top three senior high schools. What I would like you to do is to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also to share this video. Let's continue. The school that came third, surprisingly, was Presec Legon, Presbyterian Boys from Greater Accra region. It's surprising though, but it is what it is. Let's give it up for Presec. Let's give it up for Presec. And they are our reigning champions for NSMQ 2022. So they are the reigning champions with the bragging rights. The school that came second, or let's say the runner up, was Adesadel College. The boys from Pedro Junction, or the Juventus of the National Science and Math School, also known as Adesadel College, Adisco. Play up Santa Claus. Let's give it up for them. Let's give it up for them. They always try to get to the finals. And that is one thing I like about their school. They always strive to get to the National Science and Math School's finals. And now, We've got into the fun part, the school that came first. Drum roll. Mm. The school that came first is no other than Prempe College. I'm out for congratulations to Prempe College. I saw on their website, they were already jubilating and bragging about this ranking that came out. And yes, they have a cause to brag, though. But it doesn't mean that the other schools are no good. This is just a ranking. So Prempe College came first and congratulations to Prempe College. For coming first if you love this video and all the insights and value from this video i'll urge you to hit the subscribe button the like button and also share we have interviews with some of the lsmq contestants if this sounds like videos you would like to watch just click the end screen videos that pops up until then i'll see you in the next video bye bye